I got this at the Goodwill bins and I wanted to see if I could sell it. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about my bread and butter bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So the first item here is this vintage gold tone owl holder clip. And this is what it looks like. It's just a little clip, a little clippy, but you guys know I love owls. So of course I picked this up. I don't remember where I picked it up. I think I intentionally, or maybe originally intended on keeping it. I don't know, but I sold it. I sold it for $15 and the buyer was all in for $22.67 for this owl clip. The next item is this Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse Refrigerator and this Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse Girls Bedroom Canopy Bed with Blue Vanity. And the same buyer bought both of these for $24.05 plus $5 discounted shipping. If you're not familiar with Loving Family, it is definitely a great item to pick up. You can usually get it at garage sales or on Facebook Marketplace. You can buy a house with a ton of furniture. Um, depending on the house, if the house is in poor condition, sometimes I pull off the windows and the doors and I will sell parts and pieces of the house because sometimes the houses are just bad. Um, they're dirty or they're faded or they have issues and that's a way you can make some extra money. Plus shipping the house is really difficult, but you can also put the house on Facebook marketplace and then part out the furniture. A uh, lot of the items are long tail. They do take a little while to sell. I did recently have a loving family sale. Um, it was a whatnot sale where I auctioned off items. It was right before Christmas. So I figured that was a great time. A lot of people were probably looking for items for Christmas and it was all loving family. And if you guys want to see that video, you can go to my live shows, type in Bolo Buddies Loving Family, and it'll give you an idea of an online auction of selling dollhouse furniture and how it went, what the item sold for. Again, keep in mind it was before Christmas. And yeah, so check that out. And if you guys want to check out whatnot, I do have a referral link down below where you can get $15 to shop when you join with that. I also have a seller's link. If you use that to, um, if you click on the referral link to sell, it will tell them Bolo Buddy sent you and you guys can get started selling on whatnot, if you so please. But there's tutorials. I also will link those in the description of the video of how whatnot works. So check that out. This one right here, I picked up a cozy dozy koala bear from the Goodwill bins and it just was not in good condition. And I was like, mm, I'm not going to sell this. But I said, I wonder if I can cut off the pacifier and sell it. <laughs> guess what? I did it. I did it. I sold it for $5.85 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $11.69 on this. This is just the pacifier. Check it out. Just the pacifier. This one right here is Longenberger 2003 Caroline Basket Fabric Lid Cover in Pop... Pap <laughs> paprika? How do you say that? Paprika. Paprika. Um, I was running a buy one, get one 25% off with code BOLO coupon during checkout. And I think they use that. Or um, you also get a discount when you just add items to your cart. But either way, they got some sort of discount. They bought three of these. So they were all in for $9. And with the $5 discounted shipping, they got it for $14.65 for three of these. And I have eight more available. If anybody is looking for a Caroline basket fabric lid cover for your long and uh, I guess basket, like a basket lid. Anyway, I don't remember where I got these. Are these, you know what? These might have been in a Christmas mystery box from the thrift store. I do not recall. But if you guys want to learn how to make a coupon like this, um, and other coupons to send out to past buyers or people that are watching your items or following your store. I think it's people following your store. 
type in Bolo Buddies coupon into the YouTube search bar and it'll pull it up and I show you exactly how to do that. It's a tutorial. Cat's Meow Village Accessories, People, Horse, Carriage, Lot of Five. I sold these for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. I probably could have parted these out and made more money. Uh, $10, eh, I think I could have done better. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. The buyer did pay shipping. I got this at the Goodwill bins and I wanted to see if I could sell it. It is a Calico Critters car and I have sold this before, but this one was missing the trunk. And guess what? I sold it. I sold it for $8.68 and the buyer paid shipping. These are TDK. They are camcorder videotapes, sealed, got them at the bins, sold them for $16 plus shipping. Anytime you can find blank media, it's usually a good seller. Some are big money bolos. This one here is a monster jam truck, zombie dragon stuffed toy. I got this at a garage sale for $2, sold it for $32.50 plus shipping. This right here, you probably definitely wouldn't have listed it. It's a, I don't know why I couldn't figure out if it was a crab or a lobster, but I put both in the title. I'm pretty sure that's a lobster. Oh my goodness. Uh, thrift store, 50 cents, sold it for a best offer of $8 plus shipping. And look at the condition of this thing. And it's still sold for $8 plus shipping. So maybe somebody's going to fix it up. I don't know. This is a Bunnies by the Bay pink ladybug plush rattle. This thing is tiny and adorable. I uh, got it at the bins and sold it for $15 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Street Sharks Extreme Dinosaurs Bullseye. I uh, don't know how to say that, but it's by Mattel from 1996. If you see the Street Sharks, definitely look them up. Some of them go for big money. This one, I ended up taking a best offer of $29 and the buyer paid shipping. Underwear. New old stock underwear can be sold. Used underwear cannot be sold. That's how I understand it. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Um, but these were new old stock. I did pick them up at the bins and they are sheer. So a good thing to do is show that they are sheer because people like sheer panties. And you can see right there, there is the tag. Uh, brand new, new old stock. And I sold these for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. These are vintage Hallmark cookie cutters, playing cards, shapes, hearts, clubs, spades, diamonds. Sold these for uh, $10 best offer and buyer paid shipping. And I got these at an estate sale clean out for free. This is a Paul Patrol patroller, transporter, semi truck hauler, cab door. And just to elaborate, um, an it was an estate sale and the family, it was a living estate and the family was cleaning it out for another family. And I bought a bunch of stuff from them and they just threw this in. So I did buy other things. So I guess you could divide it out and maybe say I've got pennies in it. Paw Patrol Patroller, Transporter, Semi-Truck Hauler, Cab Door Replacement Part. Another example of a replacement part that I found at the Goodwill bins. Sold this for $7 and the buyer paid shipping. So this is just a little piece that goes onto a Paw Patrol vehicle. The next item is this vintage Build-A-Bear I Love You plush. And I believe the little heart is just attached and comes off. Super cute little Build-A-Bear. It's not full size. It's a little guy, 7.5 inches. Got it for 50 cents at a garage sale. Sold it for 14 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Scentsy Mother's Day full-size wax warmer. It is retired. Retired is always a good word, I think, to put into the title if it is retired. Bought it for $5 at a garage sale. Sold it for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. Another thing to know is if you get one of these and this breaks or it doesn't work, you can sell just the lid and people will buy them. I have sold them on multiple occasions. Play School Heroes, Transformers, Rescue Bots, Academy, Hot Shot Figure, Off-Road Car. Sold this for $14.26, buyer paid shipping, and I got this on Facebook Marketplace for about 50 cents. And there it is. Easy to transform. This is a Sing-A-Malings. There are also Sing-A-Majigs, 
And I always pick these up. They are so funny. Uh, you squeeze their bellies and they sing. This one is by Funrise. And I got it at the Goodwill bin, sold it for $13.64, and the buyer paid shipping. This is a vintage Rust Berry mini plush toy wearing yellow floral dress. This is teeny, teeny tiny. So cute. Got it at the bin. So probably what, a quarter in it? Sold it for $18.60 and the buyer paid shipping. And the last item is another audio cassette tape, uh, blank tape. And it's a TDK SA100. This is one single tape. I did take a best offer of $8 and the buyer paid shipping. So these are my bread and butter bolos. A bread and butter bolo to me is an item that I, items that I sell for $35 or less that I pick up cheap. So thank you so much for being Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know which one of these surprised you, and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.